Hey watch fam, happy Halloween. Today we're gonna see uh, what watches I'd be wearing if I died in a horror movie. So let's do it. Boom watch fam. All right, real quick, uh, the, you know, there's always stuff I gotta get out of the way. First things first is that we're giving away a Rolex Datejust, and I actually, I have it right here. It's a Rolex 1601 with a white gold fluted bezel stainless steel case. Great condition, super sharp. There's not really a lot of polishing or anything going on. There's some B-roll. We're giving it away at 100,000 subscribers, so if you're subscribed already, you're already entered, but what you could do is hit that little bell next to the subscribe button, so that way you can get a notification when we actually put up a new video you know, it works out for everybody. If you're already subscribed though and you want to double your chances of winning, you can follow Christian, his personal account, on Instagram. And then you have uh, double the chance. Also, stick around at the end of this video to see who won the strap. Okay, so anyways, I also am obviously wearing a watch and I have a watch in front of me. I am wearing Christian's mom, Jen's, Rolex Day Date in white gold with a seafoam dial and it is gorgeous. I can't wait to uh, die in it. And I was also thinking about that on the drive to the studio today, like... If Christian's mom, I'll just call her Jen. If Jen let me borrow this watch and then I actually died, what is the next step there? How does she get it back? Yeah, I actually let him borrow that watch for a video and then, you know, so. Wonder what, wonder if that's what, uh. Today's video is a little Halloween special. I tried to get a pumpkin. No luck on doing that. I didn't actually try, I just didn't get one. That's, that's why I didn't work. Otherwise, I could probably get one. But I do have this pine cone, which is pretty fall. A little more wintry than fall, but that's fine. All right, the pine cone's up. It's time for the Halloween special. Okay, so basically the way this works is I picked out four horror movies. I'll put myself in the horror movie and I'll tell you what watch I would have on uh, before I died. This, my parents watched this video. I feel like they're gonna hate it. I obviously, it's fake. Anyways, it's very important. Like I said, these are movies. Some of them are old. Some of them are kind of new. I'm gonna spoil them all. So um, I will tell you what the movie is first. And then when I'm done, I'll just put my hands up so that way if you don't want a movie spoiled, you can just scrub through until you see my hands and then you know it's the next film. Okay, so the first film, it's, I probably won't spoil it by now, but it's The Exorcist from 1973, directed by William Friedkin. The 12-year-old girl is possessed by a mysterious entity. Her mother seeks the help of two priests to save her. It was a pretty wild movie. I actually saw it, I think in like seventh or eighth grade at my neighbor's house, who was a girl that I had a crush on, and I went to her house and she was like, we should watch The Exorcist. And at the time, I really hated scary movies, so I was like, okay. Now I love scary movies, but I remember a very specific point in the film where the 12-year-old girl, I forget her name, but you know, obviously she's possessed by a strange entity, also known as the devil, and her head spins fully around her body, and then she like projectile vomits green. So. I specifically remember my neighbor, the girl, looking over at me and going, is this scary? And it's important to note that I was looking down at the cabinet below the TV and I was like, what? This? No, it's not scary. So fittingly with the head spinning, the watch that I would be wearing when I was gonna die, I'm assuming I'd be one of the priests, probably the one that jumps out the window, but the watch that I would be wearing is the JLC Reverso. And now obviously you saw that I switched the watch that I'm wearing. This is a JLC Reverso on my wrist made of yellow gold. I don't have the exact reference number. I'd have to ask Christian for it specifically, but this watch is not on the Theo and Harris watch shop yet. So if you're interested in it, email info at theoandharris.com and you can buy it. We'll just send it out to you if you give us the appropriate amount of money and that's that. There's also a ton of other watches on the shop. I photographed a lot of them, so I touched them all and they're feeling pretty good. But yeah, so I'm wearing a smaller vintage JLC Reverso. I specifically, for this death of mine, would pick the JLC Tribute Duo Face because obviously her head is spinning around and I would love to be like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, look, look. We're the same, see? We're the same. My head, my face spins around too. Obviously the original intention was that you can uh, flip the face and protect it. I think the reversal was specifically for polo players. Obviously there's a lot more uses than that, but that was a specific intention for the reverso. That's the watch I would pick if I was to die in The Exorcist. Also, I feel like I should make note of this. I'm gonna put clips in the video. So if you don't like scary movies, be warned, although a lot of these really aren't that scary without the context, so who knows? Anyways, okay, so the next movie is actually one of my favorite horror movies. It's not even really that scary, but 
it's just a cool film, and it's one of the few horror movies that you know that I know of, obviously, where all the main characters are smart and they work together and they try to accomplish something and stuff like that. You know, most horror movies are just like, oh, let me see what's in this door, and then they die. Uh, they do a little bit of that. People are just a little bit more ambitious in movies, or they'd be really boring, but they do a little bit of that. But on the bigger scale of things, everybody believes each other, everybody works together, and it's a really good movie. For that film specifically, there isn't... A, well, if I was going to really go hard, I would probably... Okay, so uh, now scratch that. I'm going to give two answers to this. One of them, if I was going to go really, really hard, I would probably wear, since this has to do with a witch and olden times and stuff like that, I would wear the oldest watch brand that I could. I don't really know why. Just, you know, I assume witches are old, so I would get the oldest brand. So I would wear Blanc Pond, which still really isn't that old. I guess I'd have to have a different, maybe I'd put a sundial in my pocket and walk around. But Blanc Pond is the watch I would choose because they started up in 1735. So I would probably get the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms just because that's a good balance of, you know, it's the oldest watch brand, but also a really famous watch. And if the witch tried to drown me, my watch would probably, if all the seals were maintained, be Fine. Oh, also, complete side note, but the first Omega dive watch is my Grail watch. I'm just going to say it right here. Uh, that is probably the most beautiful watch I have ever seen. So I wanted to buy one. They're like $13,000. So I bought four. Anyway, so that's the kind of fixed thing that I would get. What I originally planned to say was a vintage 1950s IWC just plain dress watch. I couldn't really find a specific model. A 35 millimeter IWC dress watch that has, you know, international watch company on it, not IWC. The really scripty, fancy fun. I feel like that's a really nice classic watch that you can wear every day that, you know, it's not like this crazy, opulent, super expensive watch. It's just like a, a cool, you're into watches, this is a vintage watch, and it feels like a picnic on a nice summery spring day, which is kind of when this film was shot. So it wouldn't really help me at all, but it would be really nice for the aesthetic, provided that I didn't die, which I do, so I would pass it on to probably the lady that got possessed by the witch just because you know, she had a tough time. So those are the two watches I would wear if I was in The Conjuring, especially if I died. I also forgot to mention that The Conjuring came out in 2013, directed by James Wan. So definitely check that movie out. Anyways, you know the drill. Next film. Okay, so next up is the scariest movie that I've ever seen in my entire life, and that is Hereditary. It came out in 2018, directed by Ari Aster, A-R-I. So... Yeah, this is by far the scariest movie I've ever seen. What I say to most people is when you are watching a horror movie, you have basically a wall up and you're like, okay, I know there's going to be jump scares. There's, you know, someone's probably going to float. This is whatever's going to happen. So you're like prepared for that and you're ready to watch it. This film, though, does something. I'm not going to spoil this part because it's it, it would be the worst part to spoil the entire film. But it does something that basically shatters through the wall and then just makes you watch the film. So you don't have a guard up anymore. No matter what happens, it's super scary. And I I sat there with my girlfriend Taylor. I got to bring her on the channel because I'm going to keep saying with my girlfriend Taylor. I was horrified. So was she. We I don't even know if we watched the movie. We both just stared down. Like I know for a fact most of it I look down like this, which is usually my to-go move. Okay, I'll, I'll put my head up like this and I'll look down like that. So it looks like my head is watching the film, but my eyes are not. That hasn't happened since The Exorcist. I haven't been, you know, that scared. And obviously I was a kid back then. I saw this this year, so I was 24 horrifying movie. Anyways, I typically, in most of these films, I'm taking the role of, you know, The Exorcist. I'm taking the role of The Priest. Um, the Conjuring 2, I was taking the role of one of the detectives or the police officer or something like that. This one, there's actually a very specific scene um, where the mother gets possessed and she does this. I'm going to take the role of the mother for this film just <laughs> because I think that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Even during the movie, I was obviously scared watching it, but I was also kind of like, what is going on? So yeah, easy choice for this one. I'm assuming the way that she is pounding herself against the attic door, that she's experiencing, you know, a significant amount of Gs or force, and, she, you know, she's really no regard for what she's wearing. So I would have to do a G-Shock. And specifically, I would have to do... Well, actually, again, there's going to be two watches here. Both G-Shock, but the classic square, the first G-Shock, you can get it from Walmart for like 40 bucks. The G-Shock DW5600E-1V. I think that watch is so beautiful. I want to get one in white. I love 
G-Shocks. It doesn't really go, obviously, with the vibe of this channel with vintage watches and all that, but I love Casio and I love G-Shocks specifically so much. So I would definitely give this to her. If you don't have a G-Shock, I highly recommend you get one, even if it's just because, you know, you want one that you can wear when you're going to the gym or you're going for a run or you're rock climbing or you're going to get in a fight later. You don't want to damage your watch. You should definitely get a G-Shock. I love bringing a G-Shock. Really, This is not an ad, by the way. We, we're not sponsored by G-Shock, but Casio, we just did the Accutron video. You should check that out here. I would love to do G-Shock, maybe get ASAP Ferg on a video. Who knows? The other one that I was talking about, though, is the All Steel G-Shock, aka the GMW B5000D-1. I've never seen this watch in real life. I've never held this watch. I can't personally recommend it, but I, you know, I kind of can because it's a G-Shock, it's Casio, and it's steel, so it has a lot of heft. I don't think that would be more practical in the film. I just, you know, if you're going to get a G-Shock and you have, well, this one's $550, but if you have $550, you should definitely get that one because I think it's incredible. I think it looks so cool. Okay, so last and final film. I'm actually going to pull out Jen's watch. Again, this is a 36 millimeter day day in white gold with a sea foam dial with diamond indices. So, so you know, it kind of sounds like a big flashy watch. It's really not 36 millimeters, obviously. It doesn't really stand out that crazy. It's not too big. It's not too garish or anything. It's not gold colored. It's white gold. So pretty much looks like steel. There's some slight tone differences, but nothing too crazy. And it has the presidential band, which is gorgeous. This is the first presidential band that I've seen. It is so hefty and feels so cool. So yeah, this watch is incredibly beautiful. And it goes with the last film that I would want to die in. Or no, I don't want to die in any of these is what I mean. So the last film, again, spoilers. So don't get mad at me if you're going to see this movie with your wife tomorrow and I spoiled it. But the last film that I'm going to do is Us. That came out in 2019, directed by Jordan Peele. An incredible film. Basically, I'm again, I'm going to spoil it. I'm going to spoil it. I'm going to spoil it. There's these clones that basically stage an uprising and they try to basically switch everything. So the clones are underground. The originals are up top. The clones come and just start to kill everyone. I watched that film. I was sitting in the theater and there's this scene, we're watching a family, you know, just live their life, they're going on vacation and whatever, and all of a sudden, the duplicate family comes and just starts laying waste to them. And I remember sitting there and I was like, we have to get out of this theater. So anyways, like I said, there's a clone uprising and what would happen is a clone would, oh my God, just <laughs> gotcha, joking. Anyways, as I was saying though, the clones come to kill, you know, their, their original. So the clone would come in and my plan here I actually don't think I would die in this movie because of this plan that I'm going to lay out before you. It starts off with the watch. I'll probably ask Jen if I can borrow her watch if this ever starts happening. And I would wear that first. Then what I would wear is probably, well, there's two different routes I can go here. If I think the clone is like me, I would wear a really nice leather jacket, maybe from the Himmel Brothers or something like that. I would wear some really nice raw denim jeans and um, loafers just because I feel like that would... That would do it. That outfit would do it. And I'll tell you what it is in a second. But the other thing I was thinking is a very well-fitted, very, very bright pink suit, almost neon, same bright pink hat with a feather coming out of it, you know, just very loud with this watch on. Both of those outfits, I feel like, would get the reaction from my clone for them not to kill me. Like, I could see if my clone was coming to kill me and then he saw me, he'd be like, whoa, what is going on here? And I'd be like, I don't know. I just figured, you know, casual Friday, I would dress how I want. And then I think that would be it. I don't think I would die, honestly. I think my clone, if it's anything like me, which it's exactly like me, I feel like my clone would just want to talk about it, would want to talk about, you know, the day date and meet Jen and try on the suit. Obviously, it fits him perfectly if it fits me perfectly. And then we'd go from there. So I really don't think the last, I don't think that would be a problem. I think that one I could probably outsmart. But anyways, those are the watches I would wear if I was going to die in a horror movie. Definitely, like I said, make sure you subscribe. Um, and that's it. I'll see you all in the next one. And one more thing, I actually totally forgot to mention, if you like me and you want to see clothing reviews, specifically like outerwear, leather, raw denim, boots, all that stuff, then check out my personal channel, The Iron Snail, and see if you like it. If you don't, that's fine, but you should subscribe to that too. Oh, I have another announcement, one that I totally forgot. I have to pick the best comment from the last video I made, so let's go look at that right now. So, uh...
I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of good comments. Obviously, there's a lot of good comments. And I would pick one and go through them all. But nine people upvoted, nine people right now upvoted expensive year. And he said, I got to say, I tried the cookies and they're to die for. And he said, my day has been made. So I think we're going to make your day again and send you a strap. So congratulations, expensive year. You won an expensive strap. Shoot me an email, michael at theoandharris.com. And uh, tell me what strap you want. And I don't know, tell me your favorite secret. Tell me your favorite secret, buddy.